Okay. And so when we do the separation of variables, so we write the wave function psi, which is a function of r, theta, and phi, we write as the product of two functions, one which depends only on the position r, one which depends on theta and phi, and again, as I said, eventually we're going to, not today, but later on, we're going to separate y into a separate function for theta and a separate function for, for phi, okay? Point is that you can do this when the motion in these different directions, r, theta, and phi, is uncoupled. That is when the motion in r does not depend on theta or phi, the motion in theta does not depend on r or phi, and so on, okay? So now we basically just um, write our equation, our, our uh, time independent Schrodinger equation, which is right here, okay? Right here. We write that in, um, uh, in but now we, we for, for psi, which we have here in these, posi in these places, we, uh, we write r times y, and since y does not depend on r, then we can now take a, not a partial, but a normal derivative, um, uh, an ordinary derivative of r squared times dr, I mean r squared times the, uh, the derivative of the function r with respect to little r, okay? And so this, this, this first term here turns into this. The second and third terms um, still have r in them, okay? See r squared, r squared here, um, but we can frat, we can um, factor out the, the the function r big R out of these derivatives, okay, and um, and then again we and then we take the part the the uh, potential energy we multiply it by psi which is r big R times y, and that is equal to on the other side the total energy times psi, okay. So if we divide this expression here. We divide this expression by psi, so we divide it by r times y, big R times y, okay? And then we also multiply by minus 2m over h bar squared, so basically we're dividing by this prefactor, and we're also multiplying by r squared so that we can get rid of the r squareds in the, in the, um, the second two terms. Then we get this at the bottom. Okay, so we get 1 over r times d by dr, r squared dr, d big R by dr, minus 2m r squared over h bar squared times um, the potential energy, which is again just a function of r, minus the total energy e, which is explicitly a number. Okay, and so this thing on the left hand side here is a function of r only. Okay, it's a function of r only, it only depends on, on r, the position. And furthermore, um, the right-hand side, we basically move everything else over to the right-hand side, okay, and we get this, right? So this right-hand, I'm not even going to say it, but you can look at it. Um, but this is clearly has no little r in it anymore. It has no little r, and so it's a function of theta and phi only, okay? And since theta, phi, and r are independent variables, okay, theta, phi, and r are independent variables, and since um, this side is a function of little r only, this side is a function of theta and phi only, then these, both of, both of these uh, sides, both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, must be equal to constant because we have to, this, this equation has to hold true for any value of r, theta, and phi. The only way for that to happen is if both sides are equal to constant, the same constant, okay? And by convention, we're going to call this constant um, and this will make sense um, in tomorrow, in next, the next lecture. Um, we're going to call this constant some number L, uh, L times the quantity L plus one. Okay, so you're going to you can already see that we're we're leading towards this is going to imply quanti this implies that we're going to have quantization. Okay, some sort of quantization, and um, and so but for the moment this is just a, a funny way of writing a constant. Okay, so the left-hand side, which I've written here, is equal to this constant, and the right-hand side is equal to that constant, but because there was a negative sign over there, I'm now going to move the negative sign there, okay? So this is where we're going to conclude our lecture for today, um, and we'll pick this up starting uh, in the next lecture uh, in a couple days.